Why take your dog for a walk when you can take them paddle boarding instead? <laughs> Sup Pups owner Samantha Eastman is out on the water <gasps> helping pet parents get on board with this fun activity. Good morning, Samantha. You're on the water. <laughs> Good morning, yes. Uh, Jack and I are on the water out in our location in Liberty <laughs> Station Point Loma with West Coast Sup Rentals. This is, okay, first of all, this is fantastic. I know Jack. I have done this about three different times myself. Jack is awesome. He loves being Mr. out there Jack. in the water. Oh, Jack, oh, yeah. yes, just waking up. <laughs> this, is, this is great. How did you get started with Sup Pups? So I've always, I grew up in Arizona on the lake and I've always loved being on the water. So when I moved here after college, I just was like, you know what? I got on the water with Jack. He absolutely loved it. I got certified to teach and I just wanted to share my passion with everyone else. I wanted them to get outside and do the same thing. I, this is really cool. So for people who aren't familiar, SUP, when we say SUP pups, it, it stands for stand up paddle boarding. And so I have to ask you, I know Jack is really good on the paddle board. Are other dogs great on the paddle board? It, it's all how you introduce them to the board. You don't want to force them. You don't want to make it, you know, a very stressful thing. So with SUP pups, I have this very basic, slow way I introduce the dog to the board by getting you on first. Mm -hmm. And then I have kind of tips and tricks. So like if they keep jumping in what to do, but ultimately they don't, they, you know, dogs want to be with you. So they learn like, okay, if I go in the water and go like swim around, I can't go anywhere. And you pull them back up. They're like, oh, okay. <laughs> I will hang out here with you. You know, it's so funny. Uh, we, so I had heard about this through my sister. She takes her, she's taken her dogs uh, to you a couple times. So I had to try it last year with our, our co-bear. I believe we have some pictures uh, at some, there it is. So Co was there on the yeah. paddle board. There he is. And he had his life vest. And I have to tell you, he was all excited because he loves the ocean, loves the water. But once he got on the board and it started to move, there I am, my, my husband. I, ha I had him paddle, okay? I sat with Koa. <laughs> but um, he, was, he, was a little, he was a little timid, a little uh, scared. Um, and mm -hmm. if I didn't hold him, he would have definitely fallen into the water. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And honestly, it all, you know, the fact that you guys went together, it yeah. helps. Yeah. The hardest is thing ever since the pandemic, all these puppies have separation anxiety. Mm. So they don't understand why their owners are separated. So during a lesson, when I have that, I can teach the dog how to do board transfers. So the board, can, the dog can easily go from board to board and yeah. kind of, you know, and, and it is called stand up paddle boarding, but you don't have to stand. And if someone is, you know, not confident, you can sit crisscross applesauce, get your dog comfortable, <laughs> and then at the end, I love to give you that confidence. I'll hold your board. You can stand up, and then I take photos and videos the entire time, <laughs> and I'll take a bunch of photos, and then you can go back down there you go. just so you get the feeling of it. Yeah. Absolutely. So what's your advice for interested pet parents? Like maybe they're watching, and they've seen this, but they're, they're a little scared. They're not sure what to expect. What's your advice for them? So a lot of people are saying, oh, my dog doesn't like the water. Jack doesn't either. So that, oh. why, that is why he's amazing because he wants to be on with you. And if your dog has a lot of anxiety, this is just a good way to get a dog outside. If they're leash aggressive, human aggression, you can get outside on a board with them. And it's like therapy being out here. It calms your guys' uh, both to be able to come here with confidence by having me right next to you. And also, you know, it's just a good way, especially with everything in the world going on right now, mm -hmm. to just get away and hang out and spend time with your dog. <laughs> it looks very peaceful where you're at, I must say. <laughs> it's fantastic. I love that you're going yes. live on the water. This is so great. Um, but you, obviously you said that, you know, you started this, you came from Arizona, just started this, and it's been years now, and you guys are doing really well. And now you're giving back to the community. And I know that you have a fundraiser that's coming up. Can you t talk about Oliver? Yeah, so I took out Oliver and his parents uh, for a sup pup lesson, and I learned their story where Oliver, who's on the right, right mm -hmm. there, he is suffering from T-cell lymphoma. And Aww. his parents have been giving him all the treatment necessary, but the bills are racking up. So I started doing community sub socials where, because I meet so many amazing people doing this, and then they're like, well, what, 
okay, now I learned, but are there events? What is there to do? So this Saturday at five o'clock in Liberty Station, partnered with West Coast Sub Rentals, we're going to be hosting a Stand Up for Oliver Aww. community event where you can come out, you can rent a board or you can bring your own. We're going to go out as a group, paddle, I'll take photos and videos. And then at the end, we have some amazing companies that donated um, some prizes. So then you can give back. And we just want to help Oliver and his family to help extend his life and give him the best treatment as possible. Because if you saw him on that board, man, his he loved it. Aww. It was so amazing. I yeah. love this. I love that you're... Oh. I just love that you're helping out the family, you're helping Oliver out, uh, and it's a great way for the community to come together and meet other uh, pet parents and, and all that good stuff. If we can't make it, how else can people help? So you can, um, you can still have a chance to win, if you like, some prizes, and you can go online for suppups.com and go to the event. You can buy a ticket to win or you can head over to Oliver's GoFundMe page and just donate directly if you'd like. Actually, and you, and you do recommend that if you do want to head out for this event that we, that you RSVP? Yes, okay. yeah, that way I know either if I need to pull you a paddleboard gotcha. or uh, if you are bringing your own, it's nice to know you're coming because at the end of the event, I set up a little bonfire with s'mores and that way people can kind of hang out get to know each other, learn more about Oliver's story. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Okay, Samantha and Jack with Sup Pups. Thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning and sharing all that information. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks so much for having us. Jack is the most excited. Oh, he is. Look at him. He's so <laughs> handsome. Bye, Jack. Thanks, Samantha.